Baruch here with Jen Connect and Secretary Tom Vilsack. Thanks so much for being here, Secretary. Glad to be with you. You're obviously focusing in your position as Secretary of Agriculture on rural America, but where should the interplay and interconnectedness really be between urban and rural America? Well, one thing can be that uh, urban folks can understand and appreciate the benefits that rural America provides to all of America, urban, suburban, and rural. It is the source of most of the food that we consume. It's a good deal of the water that we consume is impacted and affected by what happens in rural communities. Uh, most of the domestically produced energy and fuel uh, comes from rural areas, and a disproportionate number of military families uh, come from rural America. It's just 15 percent of America's population, but nearly 40 percent of America's military. So there, there are many benefits that rural America provides. Uh, we have a safe, affordable, accessible, and diverse food supply in large part because of what happens in rural America. Americans enjoy an extraordinary diversity of food and the affordability of food gives them flexibility with paychecks uh, and with income that other people in other countries just simply don't have. Uh, so there is an appreciation, I think, a need for appreciation. On the other hand, I think we're beginning to see uh, urban folks understand that there's an opportunity for farming uh, and for forestry in urban locations. Uh, a number of cities are basically converting some brownfields uh, into raised beds, uh, creating community gardens. Uh, schools are embracing the notion of producing their own food and using it as a, a learning opportunity for students. So uh, I think there are a, a lot of connections. Uh, and at the end of the day, I, I would hope that folks in cities and suburbs understand that their lives are better and richer because of what rural folks do. We're talking about the affordability of food. I want to take you back to your childhood for a second. You were born into an orphanage. You were adopted as a child. How has that personal experience really impacted your ability to empathize with young people around the country who might not have the food that they need? Well, I, a couple of things. I mean, uh, the orphanage, uh, I was there for a short period of time, and then I was adopted into a family where my mom struggled with uh, alcoholism and drug, uh, prescription drug addiction. Uh, she overcame those, uh, uh, those uh, challenges and provided a great, uh, great example for my life uh, of never giving up on something you believe in. Having said that, during the course of my mom's drinking uh, and uh, my early childhood, uh, food was an issue for me. Uh, uh, I was uh, consistently uh, and significantly overweight as a child, uh, and that often led to people making fun of me uh, or basically having some concerns about my self-image. So as I look at kids today, uh, kids who are in food insecure homes uh, are not getting enough to eat or food, uh, that they're getting enough to eat but it's not nutri nutritiously dense food. Um, you know, I, I empathize with those kids. I know what they're going through. I know what they're thinking. I know what they're feeling. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we have made a real concerted effort in this administration to begin a, a transformation uh, to develop a new generation of, uh, of people in this country that are connected, better connected to their food. Uh, making uh, better food choices for themselves. Uh, and I think over time what we'll see is an impact and a reduction of obesity rates among kids. We'll see less food insecurity among our people and we'll see healthier uh, kids who will do better in school. Uh, and as a result of doing better in school, they'll be better prepared for uh, a very exciting but competitive life that they're going to have to lead. So um, I, I understand the challenges. And, I, and, and from a global perspective, uh, the orphanage experience uh, takes me back to an orphanage that I attended in Kenya. Uh, where I was uh, helping to feed kids through our McGovern Dole program, uh, which is a feeding program for, for kids in schools across the, across the globe. Uh, was interesting because as I was putting the food in the red cup that uh, these youngsters had, I was thinking to myself, well, they must really be appreciative of this, and, and I wonder what they, what they like best about school. I wonder what their best subject is. So I started asking these kids, you know, what, do you, what do you like about school? And what's your best subject? Every single one of those kids said, I come to school because I get fed. So it, it sort of reinforced the power of these feeding programs in terms of being able to give kids a nutritious meal, but also give them the opportunity to get an education, which is fundamentally going to change their lives. Thank you to Secretary Vilsack. You bet. And for more with Secretary Vilsack, be sure to check out Gen Connect.